Okay, we've got two nice size little chunks. I'm gonna just pop them in the pan. You can see there's a little bit of wax left over from last time. And just gonna measure in roughly just, you know, by eye, the equivalent volume of the oil into there, roughly equivalent to those two chunks. Reckon that'll do. Don't know if you could see that very well, but using these autofocus cameras, you're not sure the camera's mainly focusing on whatever's in the foreground. And... All right. All right. Now, oh, my applicator. This is my applicator, and you know, I get about three or four uses out of one of these polypropylene, uh, you know, uh, cloths just held in a kitchen tongs with a bulldog clip to clamp it. Um, and for the fine cut-in work around the edge, I've got this little, this little brush. I'll, um, I'll clean that up a bit before I use it. But. So I'm going to turn this on. I think uh, I'm going to give a second for the gas to come through before I ignite it. There we go. Working perfectly. I'll just turn it down a bit. So you can see already that um, existing wax is, is melting pretty quickly. And then the oil heats up and melts the two big solid chunks eventually. So we'll just give that a few minutes. The wax melts at, a, I don't know, 60 or 70 degrees Celsius. swirl. I feel like one of those celebrity chefs. This is going to taste fantastic guys. Just wait till you get your laughing gear around this. You can see those chunks are getting smaller and smaller as they melt down. Sorry, this is taking a, a bit longer than... Give me more uh, minutes on my video and more advertising revenue. Ha ha ha. That's a joke. I don't get any advertising revenue from YouTube at this stage. Would be nice. Okay, I'm gonna put my my um, applicator in there to melt that down a bit too, because it's full of uh, solid wax. And I might even give that little brush a, a rinse in there. Clearly we're gonna get a few little pieces of wood. I'm gonna turn that off now. It's hot enough. Um, there'll be some, you know, wood grit and other detritus in there, which is a bit messy, but what happens when you rub the, rub the excess off, a lot of that comes with it. So here we go. I'm just, I'm just going to do a demo of, of how that goes on. Just do that. I don't know if you can see that. I better aim the camera at it. You can see that grain is just popping beautifully now. Um, and the 
front baffle is going to look sensational. Now that hardens and cools very quickly on the wood and it's almost hard instantaneously. Okay, that's the first rough application and you can already see how that grain is just popping right out. Beautiful. It's a bit uneven, but when we come back with the heat gun and rub off, rub it back in again the second time and then um, rub off the excess, uh, it's just gonna look so awesome. Okay, let me just lay that on its back now and we'll just do a demo on the front baffle. Um, gonna have to really concentrate on this. I just soak it back in the wax and here we go. Here we go, we'll just go around roughly. Can you see that? Here we go, point it in the right direction, Pete. Oh, it's really weird trying to watch the video screen and steer the applicator. So just rubbing that on. Also got to go a little bit inside the vent, just as far as you can see and as far as I can reach with my applicator. Um, obviously I've got to do just the inside of the front baffle, all the way around there. But I also like to go up into the vent, you know, a distance, better, you know, probably halfway down the vent uh, length is good enough. Um, that's another a bit of waxing I could have done in advance, but I forgot to do that. All right. That's, you can just start to see how that grain is looking so good under there. I'll run a bit around the chamfer, around the speaker driver. Okay, I'm going to finish this off with two hands now. <laughs> um, I'll come back when I'm finished with a view of the first first application on both both speakers. Be right back. <laughs> 